stepping inside of the Moto IQ warehouse. This is one of their projects. You guys probably seen it on their website. It's their project Integra. But we got so much more. But before we walk around, we're going to go ahead and find Martin and uh, have him give us a tour about what's going on at the Moto IQ warehouse. So let's go find him, bro. It should be over here somewhere. Am I interrupting somebody getting robbed here? Are you robbing Mike? Nope. How you doing, Mike? Rob us. How you doing? Nice to see you again. If you guys don't know, this is Mike Kojima, one of the guys here at Moto IQ. This is the crew. What's your name, sir? Ian. Ian, nice to meet nice you. To meet you gave you. me a ride home one day. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this is the man we came to see. But so. before we see, say hi to you, let's say hi to the guy, the really important guy around oh, here. Hey man. I How you really doing, mean. man? Hey. Nice to see you, you again. <laughs> Everybody, this is Martin, and this is the guy that invited us to come and visit the Moto IQ HQ. What are you doing, bro? Oh, you can't put that see page, this, Put that page this, down, this, put this, it down, stuff. put it down. Yeah, this is PG show. You can't, you can't look at that. It's a PG show, man, we, we can't do that. <laughs> I gotta stay seated for a while before I get in. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's all right. If you walk around hunched over, we know why. So hey man, thanks for having us over again. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming it. by, man. Appreciate so, it. So you're gonna give us a tour around the Moto IQ shop, right? Yeah. All right, cool, so I'll follow you, man. Let's go ahead and head over. So this is basically the office. Oh, you guys already. Oh, this is a fancy it. office, man. Yeah. yeah. But go, give us a tour, man. I'll right, follow so, you. Uh, Show us what you got going on. I, I let people know this is your project Integra right here. Yeah. Um, I see a drift car over here. So how about we go? We'll just counter, do a counterclockwise thing. All right. Well, Hold this up. is uh, our marketing manager's drift car. She has two drift cars. She has a competition drift car, which is a 350Z. Videos on that on our YouTube channel as well. As well as uh, we're doing a big V8. Uh, build on our car. Actually, a lot of the parts you see on our parts shelf over there belong to that car. We Sweet. got parts from Crower, uh, comp cams, so a lot of good stuff going in there. Big time build. From the last article you've seen, we actually haven't touched it too much because drift season started for Athena, so a lot of the focus started going into her 350Z. The little turd got kind of forgotten about, so. But we're getting ready to do a lot of things with it. We got some can products going in, uh, the overflows, uh, swirl pots, and as well as an infinity ECU from AM Electronics. So we got to do all that wiring first. But once we're done with that, the car is basically ready to it's still rock. Ready to roll. rock. Nice, yeah, man. So. Well, it may not look like much, but it, it looks She's like got it where it counts. She's gonna... Exactly. <laughs> um, looks like it's going to be a lot. And then the rack you, we have here, honestly, this really has become Mike's <laughs> storage place. You can blink that out, sorry. But I, I, it's, I see, Mike, it's Mike's storage. Because right I here. see the Project Evo. The FRS, I haven't seen that Z32 in a long time. And from the dust that's on it, I think Mike hasn't seen it in a long time. It hasn't moved in a long um, time. Either. So I see the two dog cars over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially when friends are like, oh, no, bro, hold it for me, man. I got you. I'll get you the money. Don't, but when I say I got you, Martin, I got you. Yeah. yeah you, Both you, dog cars still for sale. I'll, so I'll bring any... my EBT. I'll bring whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got you, man. We take Visa, MasterCard, no EBT. Hey, you take Bitcoin, though. Yeah. yeah. We take do. Crypto we were cryptocurrency? Oh, all right, cool. I got good. you, bro. I got like 500 Ripple coins right now. <laughs> it's like 50 bucks. I'm getting good. in on that. I want to get rich too. <laughs> Boom. So this is one of the dog cars. You guys may know this car, and maybe you don't for all the new school Sentra guys, but this is a well-built, full-on race car with full custom KW suspension, a fully built SR20 VE with all kinds of supporting mods and custom-built cage. This thing is fast. And from the, what the guys at KW say, this is probably one of the quickest front wheel drive cars they've ever driven at Buttonwillow. Am I wrong? At Streets of Willow at the KW Shakedown, we actually took the oh, car. Streets. Okay. And one of their main engineers, uh, Klaus Frank, actually drove the car and was very impressed with the fact that it's a front wheel drive car. Now, front wheel drive cars usually suck to drive, but this car is well balanced. It's stable. It doesn't understeer very much. You can manipulate it to oversteer when you want it to. Uh, but yeah, so he was impressed. I like driving the car too. I haven't even driven it and I'm impressed. <laughs> I just, like <laughs> just looking at it, I'm impressed. And this is the other dog car over here tucked away. This one has a almost 200 horsepower NA DE, SR20 DE. Again, it's fully caged. It's a full on race car. It has a different suspension than this dog car, but don't take it lightly. The car is a beast. It is currently on some Volk TE37s that Mike won't sell to me because he says I have to buy them. They come free with the price of the car, yeah, but that's a whole different story. The, the, yeah, you buy 
buy the car, you, get the you, you buy the car, you get the wheels free, right? So, again, I haven't seen that car in a long time, that That's Z32. the official sport compact car Z32. That is yeah. the official sport compact car That's Z32. That's the one I was, yeah, I believe it's 650 or 750 horsepower. Good Lord. Something around those lines. But again, that horsepower doesn't mean anything unless you're on the road. Yeah, because it's right here. It's making zero horsepower. <laughs> yeah, it, makes, it usually makes zero horsepower. It makes gobble, gobs yeah. of horsepower just sitting there, right? But it does have only like 12,000 miles on it. So th that means the price is like... Yeah. It, you don't, but then basically, again, I, I, don't I, need, I don't even know if there's a market for Z32s. Though. I mean, most of the Z32 owners are like the guys that I own like that. Way. Hey, man. No tweeting while we're filming. Just checking he's, my Tinder. Yeah, he's in a new <laughs> Swipe zone. Swipe to the right. He's in a new zone. Yeah, <laughs> Swipe to the right. Nervous. Swipe to the right. Now, this is another project right here. This is your personal car, right, Martin? That's my car, yeah. That's my project. Uh, yeah, it's technically my first non-Nissan car I ever bought. This is an <laughs> E39 M5. E39 M5. And let's zoom in on these wheels. On Z wheels. These are Advent. And they're huge. And these are the new stop techs you just got, right? Yep. That's yeah. Yeah. Trophy, trophy kit, front right? and rear, Advan GT racing wheels. They're 19 by 10 in the rear, 19 by 9s in the front. Oh. Um, and on Nitto Invos as well, uh, 285s in the rear and 265s in the front, I believe. Good yeah, 265. Lord. So it definitely puts the power down to the ground, unlike that thing. Yeah, this one's actually on the ground. And it's dirty because <laughs> it was out on Monday when it sprinkled, so it's actually a little dirty because we drive our cars. Yeah, you drive your cars around yeah. here. We Except like Mike. Or my B14, because this thing has Hey, been... the piece of resistance. Oh, that's sorry, at the end, sorry, man. Right, right, right. Leave the surprise for later. All right, all right. We got we to gotta give them recovery time after all, all this over all here, awesome. man. You can't give it to yeah, them. You can't give them all at once, gotta... man. You got to warm them up. <laughs> <laughs> so I see a new RX-7 project here. Yeah. This that... is actually a customer car. Um, for all of you that may not know, Moto IQ Garage is now open. Um, in the sense that if you have your own build that you like to work on, you like this to actually build for you, whether it's building a full engine or like you see here, this is an RX-7 that we're going to do an LS swap on, including the full interior, the brakes. We're taking everything off and basically making a copy of our project RX-7, and that's what the owner of this car wanted. And do, do you have a website where they can go to inquire about what it costs for you guys to work it's on It's a matter of just getting a hold of us, info at MotoIQ.com. And that is info Bing. at MotoIQ.com. Info at MotoIQ. Here. MotoIQ. Right there. Follow it. <laughs> You're right. Damn. And then, again, hit them up if you want them to build you your own race car. Uh, as you can see here, they, they do yeah. serious work. And one of the guys that does their serious work is nestled away over there in the corner back there. Mr. Howard Watanabe. Mr. Howard Watanabe. We'll the man, talk the legend. Second. The man, the myth, the legend. Yes, exactly. I've never even really seen him. I just know he finishes he your car. He does cars. exist. I, I've never yeah. seen his face because on your website, they only see, they show the back of his head working on your car. <laughs> That's so I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> so he's like the Stig from Moto IQ. <laughs> So again, so yes, we uh, so yeah. If you wanna, if you have your own build, you can come to us. We don't do oil changes or like semi brake jobs. But if you have like a full race car you want to build or a sick ass street car, that's what we can do for you. So, so you can't beat like Nissan's fifty dollar oil change prices? Is that what? You're no, saying? we're not gonna. Do that. <laughs> You're not gonna be doing that. All not right, at cool. all. Not at all. And then we have something here that's hidden. We won't show that off. But by the shape of it, you can kind of tell what it is. I mean, I mean. Ah, tiny, don't, don't do a it. Tiny peak, a tiny peak. Don't, don't give them the upskirts, man. Put, put it down. Just, just a put it down. Just, well, get to it, Martin. You're, you're, you're going too fast. <laughs> so this is an R32 GTR, and I know this has been sitting here for quite some a time long too. Time. Yeah, I think this move, made the move from your Long Beach hangar yes. to here, and before the Long Beach hangar, it was still at your previous shop, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so this is a full teardown you guys are doing here. Well, we already did it. The engine is in. Now we're just waiting for basically the small little parts, pulleys here, belt there, and just tightening it up. Uh, so this will be running hopefully in the next few weeks here. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. So getting a lot of these cars out of the shop to make room for new customer cars. That's awesome. So again, you guys, if you guys want your car built by Moto IQ, if you have race car plans, definitely hit Moto IQ up again. The website is down here. This is where you can go ahead and contact them. Cool. So that means you're familiar with John Via. Over there, global time attack yeah. at all? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. That's my, that's my boy right there. That's my boy. G20 guy, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I pull up to the tech yeah. with the G20, he's like, oh, what's up, man? Yeah, that's, that's my boy. G20 man. life. Hey, you know it's a G20 guy when they, they scream like little girls, right? When they see a G20 <laughs> yeah. on the racetrack. So you know they're a G20 guy. Primera, oh my God, it's a Primera. <laughs> that's the EGT, bro. Yeah. 
So speaking of G20s, that's a good transition over to that thing right there. That's your Moto IQ G20 race car. G20, yep. And uh, you've raced this a long time. I, I know you've been through a lot with this car. Yeah, you can see all the all the love taps and Bondo areas. And the other side's missing a headlight. Actually, no, I fixed the headlight. You fixed I the headlight? I just need to fix the fender now. That was a little incident with uh, Spec E30 at California Speedway. Or Still, auto club speed so those right E30 now. drivers are even douchebags on the track. Yeah, they'll expect me on the track. No wonder Najee didn't like those uh, Miatas. He just ate them for breakfast in his car. But this is a beautiful example of what a race car really is. Martin has it's really... Dirty it, it's dirty, but you know what? It's functional. I know you could turn the key and go if you wanted to. Look at all that cage work. Again, this is a very functional, I mean, and just in case he wants to play basketball at the track, there's a Spalding indoor outdoor basketball <laughs> right there. Hey, you never know. You don't want to get hooped up by Martin from Moto IQ. So this is the engine bay right here. It's an SR20 detuned, right, to fit your class spec? Uh, yeah, detuned to the sense that we are basically running less than stock boost. So what we have here is an 8.5 compression engine that we built with full internals, so JE pistons, K1 rods. We've done everything to the bottom end of the car, but we're just using a stock T25 turbo. Nice. Um, reason being, again, the race, that, the class that we used to race in, was we were limited to 210 horsepower, but we weren't limited on torque. So the car right now currently makes 208 horsepower, but 235 foot-pounds of torque. And this was tuned by Clark over there at uh, Jim Wool? Yes, this was tuned by Clark. That's right. So yeah, he hooked it up, gave us a custom tune, and yeah, the car's been solid. I mean, we ran it for three years, haven't had a single issue with the car, actually. And See, quality builds. Yeah. Quality tuning, quality parts gets you quality results. That's definitely one thing you want to learn about all of this. Take the time, do it right. It's not about how it looks, it's about how it's built. Yep. So. Especially with an SR game, man. You gotta have all the little things taken care of. All your cooling issues, Tell you're gonna so. race. You need a big radiator, you need larger pulley. Anything to do with cooling, you just need to take care Hallelujah. of it. It's not even about making horsepower. There's no point making horsepower. You can't even keep the engine alive. And that's what we did. When we first started six, seven years ago racing this thing, this is engine number five. We've gone through every stupid mistake. Every, we've tried to make every shortcut, and we've learned the hard way that you take shortcuts, you're going to end up screwing yourself at the end. That's right. So like Juan said, do it right the first time. That's right. Like I always tell people, if you can afford cheap, you can afford expensive. Just save a couple more bucks. Take a little bit longer. Don't get impatient and just buy the, the right part. Buy it one time so that you're not over here spending all kinds of money fixing the errors of the cheap parts. Yep. So, just to take another quick look. Oh, you got the... Oh, yeah, it gets hot right there. That yeah. little T25 is being pushed to its max. It gets hot. a little hotter. But it's all custom piping. My uh, my race partner actually. This car's owned by myself and Steve Rockwood, and Steve actually did all the intercooler piping for this. And yeah, as you can see, it's nice and tight. It almost looks solid. That's kind of like the car, the way the yeah. car should have came from the factory almost. This is the P10, but the piece yeah. of resistance is this SEL right here. The car that he's been trying to buy for me forever. Anyway. I have. Unfortunately, I have. never will because I'm never. I, buy, I, I'm I've never been trying to buy it for years. I mean, I'm not selling. This I felt bad for what? Ten years? I've known you what? 14 years now, something yeah. like that. I've always been asking you about this car because why? It's hard to find a clean SEL, and this is one owner, yeah. SEL, and the only owner it's ever seen is this guy right here. And that's why you have Sergio gawking at it over there, oh, looking dude, through have it. You've seen how long that list. That's my list of things <laughs> I have to do to get the car running. So let's look at that to do list. It's long and distinguished. Look at this. Look at this to do list. It's a lot of shit. Look at that. Hey, that doesn't say action. Oh, oh yeah, no action parts here, sorry. He, he doesn't want to blow up splines. No, so, <laughs> no. So this car is actually going to get a full six-speed swap, right? Yeah, actually, we're gonna. I'm going to get done with it. So right now we're in the middle, actually, of uh, specking out the engine build. So we're probably going to end up using Wysco boost line uh, rods. Uh, we're going to stroke the engine with Y-scope parts as well and K1 parts. Okay. So we're going to go, I believe it's going to end up being a 2.2. Wow. So we're going to 2.2 liter, uh, 901 compression, E85 turbo. Uh, Project DC2 is going on the test drive right now, actually. Uh -oh. You'll be seeing the video on YouTube soon. We did an OS, OS Geekin diff? Uh, LSD diff yeah. install. And that hey. thing is awesome. 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 Awesome.
Back to the car. I know Martin's owned it forever. Uh, he, I know he doesn't like anything put on it, only if it's on the glass. Uh, that's an inside joke between him and I and just close friends. <laughs> but, put it on the moonroof! <laughs> Don't let your drink glass, on my paint! Bro. Don't but, put it on my paint! Yeah, so here. I think it still has the imprint right there at the top. <laughs> that's the last time I saw this car driving. Uh, and the, the funny part was it was just... It was a good story all in all, but we won't get into that. We'll just keep looking through this stuff. Is this the motor that's actually going to go in this car? Uh, this is the motor that came out of the car. So this is the original engine, the low port from the SCL. I just have that. This was going to be the turbo that was going to... I bought a new T28 a long time ago. I was going to okay. put on it from a GTIR, but I'm obviously not going to use that. For sale. More power. More uh, power. Okay. <laughs> turbo for sale. for sale. Price will be in the description. Turbo. <laughs> Brand new. Hey, you might for see it on sale. the Moto IQ Instagram. You'll see it on our Instagram. <laughs> Uh, but this will be torn apart, yeah, and then we'll stroke this engine and... And make big it, power? Yeah, we're hoping that, yeah, we're going to go E85, go a whole complete fuel system What kind of it. horsepower are you looking at, Martin? Yeah, I mean, trying to get around 450 to 500. Oh, that's not going to be a problem. 2.2, so. probably on a little boost. Yeah. Probably d 2 But then I want it to be, like, D2'd? usable, though, you know? I don't yeah. want it to be, like, C16 <laughs> up all day 500 horsepower. That's just dumb. Well... So. I love the projects. I love what you guys do here. I thank you for inviting us over to look through all your stuff and, and pick your brain. You're welcome. So, Martin, before we leave, we'll come and ask you one question because I know you wanted to do something for our viewers, maybe a little bit of a giveaway. Is that what we wanted to do? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, we got to do a giveaway. Let's, let's, let's he just remembered. That's right. All right, man. I, I gotta be about, I'm about the bottom line, it's man. It's been a while. So, we're giving stuff away? What? Are we still giving stuff away? <laughs> we, what? Are we giving stuff away? Yeah. All right, we'll give something, something away. away. Okay, so I'll come I'll come talk to you. We're going to go ahead and look through the cars. Me and Sergio are going to geek out a little bit. All right. And uh, we'll come talk to you in a bit. I'm not quite sure what this is, actually. This looks like some sort of uh, old Z or MG. Uh, I, I think this should be the, the question to the contest the first person who can name this car correctly yeah you know what that's a good idea so we're gonna be giving away something but the question is gonna be who can tell me what this car is that gives it away oh yeah cover that up cover that up who can tell me what this car is leave your answer down in the comments uh, we're gonna pick two winners we're gonna pick two winners giving you even more hints. I'm making it easy for you guys, so definitely give me the answer. I'll pick two winners of whatever prize it's gonna be that Martin's gonna give us to give away to you guys. And uh, once I announce the winner, you'll know who it was on the next video. I'll let you know who it is. Again, contact me on my Instagram, I'll, I'll contact you. And uh, just like the last winner, you'll get something for free. And I'm giving it to you pretty easy. So. And you know, I think this time we should add a couple things. To our, to our subscribers, our viewers, our followers uh, on social media. What do you think? Um, I Ma think maybe a winner on Instagram, maybe a winner on YouTube. Is yeah, that what you're possibly. thinking? Yeah, possibly. But remember, guys, uh, to share, subscribe, uh, hit the notifications, give like us, our videos, give us give us those views, so we can continue to give you nice videos like these, giveaways, free stuff. Free stuff's free always stuff, important. Free stuff's always good. Because after this. We got more free stuff, yeah. right? We got more free stuff from, from we got more free stuff from, uh, I didn't say from where, but I'm just giving you a clue. We got more free stuff. So definitely do what Sergio says. He chooses you. So thanks to Martin from Moto IQ. Thank, thank you to him for letting us give, get a tour of the shop. Thanks to Mike for dropping a little bit of knowledge off camera for us. Um, but again, thanks to Martin and the guys here at Moto IQ. We're going to do a little bit of a giveaway. Sergio already stated what the rules are. You got to let us know what that red car out there in the garage is. And let us know what kind of car it is. I gave you guys the answers. Just put it down in the comment section below. I'll put it on Instagram. I'll pick one Instagram winner. And I'll pick one YouTube winner. We're going to do it the same random way as last time. But let's show them what we're going to give them away. Thanks to the guys here at Moto IQ. One Instagram winner is going to get a new Moto IQ shirt with their new logo. Two license plate. Two license plate frames, two stickers, and then one Instagram winner is going to get a t-shirt, stickers, and two license plate frames, and some walkie-talkies. Oh, the walkie-talkies are not part of the... No, no walkie-talkies. 
<laughs> it doesn't have the new logo on them anywhere. Right? It's yeah, it's the same old logo. So those are the giveaways. So again, you guys know what car is it? The one that we showed that's covered up, the red one, the... Oh, the tiny car? Yeah, that little tiny car out there. Car? Yeah, that little car. Okay. What kind of car is that? I don't need to know what year. Just tell me what car it is. I showed it to you guys. Somebody's going to win some free stuff. Uh, I will name the winner in the next video. And when I do name the winner, I'll contact you. You can contact me. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. That's the best way to reach me. And I'll get that stuff out to you. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, follow us. Hit the little, the little ring around top so you can get the notification of the new videos. Martin, do you have anything to say before we go? I do appreciate you having and us. follow Moto IQ, man. All that follow knowledge. Follow IQ, we're on YouTube. All that knowledge. IG, MotoIQ.com, read articles. Free magazine, cast for more free knowledge. And when are we going to see more Chevy SS stuff? Everybody wants to know. It's like my biggest video. Where are my sensors? Oh, sorry. Anyway, let's next cut topic. that out next time. <laughs>